So thank you very much for having me here this morning. I will be talking to you about uh, the clinical uh, features, the most typical clinical features of vascular Lestander syndrome, its natural history, and a quick word on the diagnostic criteria of vascular Lestander syndrome. As you all know, vascular Lestander syndrome is a rare inherited genetic condition caused by mutation within the col 3 one gene that results in a def defect of type 3 collagen. Most mutations uh, will interfere uh, with the healthy allele and have a dominant negative effect. As the type 3 collagen is a major determinant of mechanical resistance of organs to mechanical stress, uh, its uh, deficit will result in uh, exceptional organ fragility. The most frequent uh, mutations, as we've seen before, uh, would be glycine substitutions within the triple helix, splice site and truncating mutations, and mutations leading to haploid insufficiency. The formal diagnosis of vascular ADS requires uh, the identification of a pathogenic mutation within the col 3 a one gene. When there is no family history of vascular ADS, uh, patients are rarely being diagnosed. Uh, in the other situations, most often patients would be symptomatic, uh, meaning having had one or more arterial or uh, um, digestive complications and would be referred for diagnosis. The other ones would be considered as relatives and uh, be diagnosed uh, with or without any clinical complication. Uh, the genetic testing is guided by the diagnostic criteria, uh, which we will review here. Uh, first of all, historically, uh, the most, almost most recent ones that were uh, proposed were the Villefranche diagnostic criteria uh, that were designed at a time where the genetic diagnosis uh, of vascular EDS was uh, complicated and where it was necessary to select accurately patients uh, for genetic testing. And as you can see, uh, the two more major criteria of vascular EDS would be necessary to indicate genetic testing, where minor criteria would orient uh, uh, the physician towards the disease but would have no uh, specific uh, diagnostic value. The overall diagnostic accuracy of Villefranche uh, uh, criteria are uh, good. Uh, in specialized practice with a good sensitivity and a good negative predictive value. Uh, however, the specificity uh, of the criteria are limited. Uh, the most common uh, characteristic features of vascular ADS uh, are the facial <coughs> appearance uh, with a thin pinched nose, thin lips, uh, a big appearing eyes uh, due to the atrophy of uh, adipose tissue uh, in the ocular globe, lobeless ears. Uh, one feature that is quite common is uh, premature hair, hair loss, uh, which may be very severe and uh, may particularly affect young women. Other very characteristic features of vascular EDS are uh, hematomas, easy bruising at and zones that are not prone to trauma, that would be um, uh, skin translucency or transparency and abnormal wound healing uh, with widened uh, sc scars here shown on the knee of the two knee operations uh, after 10 years evolution. Another very characteristic appearance would be the premature aging of the hands and feet. Uh, here uh, to be illustrated by uh, the hand of a 20-year-old young male and a 35-year-old uh, woman. The revised diagnostic uh, criteria uh, uh, have focused on uh, selecting very specific uh, diagnostic criteria as major criteria as to um, orientate the maximum of potential or suspicious patients uh, into genetic testing and to identify these patients. Hence, one or more diagnostic criteria of these major criteria uh, is necessary or is the minimum necessary uh, number of criteria to indicate genetic testing. However, uh, if 
we compare these novel criteria in a um, dedicated or sp a specialized practice. Uh, they appear to be uh, largely inferior uh, in diagnostic accuracy than the Villefranche criteria with a diagnostic odds ratio of 4.1 against 7.8 for the Villefranche criteria and for probands, that means symptomatic patients, it would be 4.04 .04 versus 18.1. That means that the, the primary goal of uh, selecting specific uh, major diagnostic criteria, meaning selecting the most of, uh, patients uh, that are likely to be uh, affected, uh, is not met by these criteria.